Generally speaking, in the aquarium world, the word nano pertains to aquariums less than 20 gallons. Simplicity is defined as the quality or condition of being easy to understand or do and being plain or uncomplicated in form or design. The genesis of this current configuration began as a five gallon setup that was operating for a year and a half. It was expanded into a 10 gallon briefly for a few months before deciding to again expand it to this 20 gallon long. The 30 by 12 inch footprint provides me the ability to stretch the meager aquascape to allow spacing between structures, promoting different fish to claim a territory for their own with minimal bickering. That being said, small, simple marine aquariums are possible, providing you understand the inherent limitations to this type of setup, and you abide by those limitations, you can keep and enjoy an interesting nano marine aquarium. You must accept that there are many species of fish you cannot keep in a nano tank. Most species of tangs, angels, butterflies, triggers, wrasses, Antheus, puffers, snappers, groupers, and plenty more are incompatible with small tanks due to their sheer size and their requirement of plenty of swimming room to survive and thrive. Wow, that's a lot of fish that can't be kept. But what can be housed in a nano tank? Well, clownfish are probably the most popular nano tank residents, along with certain gobies, blennies, cardinal fish, basslets, dottybacks, and dartfish. Even though this is a short list, there is a good variety of these species available to create a beautiful aquarium. In addition, for the most part, the fish are also reef safe, meaning that they can be mostly trusted in an aquarium housing a variety of coral, and in a nanotank, you have more flexibility as to the quantity and quality of corals you can choose. Keeping in mind the title of this video, Soft corals, or softies, are the easiest type to house in a marine nano reef aquarium, and that's why they dominate the aquascape of the tank in this video. For me, the essence of simplicity is how much effort is required to perform a regular maintenance. Every seven to 10 days, I change five gallons of water using a high quality synthetic salt mixture. During this change, I rinse out the sponge filter and pre-filter, wipe the algae from the glass, and gently stir the sand bed. All in all, less than 30 minutes, and it's done. The coral frags and fish stock are all relatively inexpensive, none of which cost more than $30. There is no fancy filter, skimmer, UV sterilizer, or expensive wave maker. The largest expense was for the lighting. Details of the hardware will be in the description. This rose bubble tip anemone was added to entice the clowns, and they do sleep in it at night. At first, this anemone was very restless, wandering around the aquascape, but seems to have settled in in its current location. So much so that it recently split and its daughter has settled under the flow of the hang on the back filter. Now, each clown has its own bed. The best advice I can give you if you go the small and simple route, adhere to the limitations and abide by those limits. Once you get things set up and running, leave it alone. Try your best to do the required maintenance in a timely manner. Do not overfeed the aquarium, plenty of homework about coral and fish compatibility in a nano environment and most importantly enjoy it that's why you have it minimal effort in keeping it beautiful and more time enjoying its beauty thanks for watching